to Mongus Max Hawaii Newspaper. <laughs> Mongus Max Hawaii, the channel. So go down and subscribe already. Just, just do that. And then click like every time. Every time. And watch all the way to the end. Every time. Stop the numbers. We need some numbers. <gasps> Too much. Yes, I'm just out there for abject pleading. <laughs> Shameless. Of course. And, um, hmm. Well, Mongoose Manx Hawaii newspaper. This is the newspaper series. The newspaper series, we look at the morning newspaper and make fun of it with try respect people but make fun of it. Yeah, but newspaper. <laughs> Uh, I don't do anything against that. We barely get to any of the news. And it goes over with time. And there's so many things wrong. Oh. Yeah, for a serious note. And I mean this. No joke. There's milestones happening. And one milestone is the world got to another benchmark, another plateau, another big number. So just take a pause. All over the world, 50, 50, 50 million, 50 million people now have this virus. Yeah. And in the U.S., 100,000 people got it one day. One day. 100,000 one day. Pretty sure. 100,000 one day. And they're expecting this to be 1,000 deaths a day at one point. So, happy Thanksgiving, right? But, not to just leave you there. Pfizer! Pfizer got a vaccine! <laughs> God, now it's... Oh, man. <laughs> and, thank God for the new president, because I do believe they're going to put $25 billion behind getting the vaccine out to people. So... Imagine if the vaccine was available and it cost like, you know, like a thousand dollars or something. People would just buy it, you know, but, you know, and, uh, many, many people won't get it. And so, you know, <clears throat> President 46, Big B, Biden, Joe, have a cup of Joe. Hey, hey, hey. Now that's some old timey stuff. Had a cup of Joe. Eh, World War II reference. But anyhow, he's going to put some money behind it. She, yeah. So. <clears throat> and he made it number one priority. No kaoi, number one. So, there are some things to be grateful for. Pfizer put out this vaccine, right? And, well, they test, they're testing it. And they're going to go for more testing, whatever. They're going to do some tests. They figured out it's 90 cent percent, nine zero, 90 percent more effective than a saline solution. Salt water? <laughs> well, let me put it this way. That's the, you know, the placebo, the test, you know, the, the, the do nothing. They got to have some people that just, they, they think they're getting the vaccine, but it's just... Test control, test control, test control. So, yeah. Control group got nothing. Like my awards. Like the like the T-Rex award. You get nothing. You get stepped on. Stepped on by the world. But at least we try to feel better about it. So be grateful you wake up in the morning and you breathe and you can even think that or conceive that there is a God. Animals can't do that. That's one thing animals don't do. The animals don't go to church. 
So now you know the difference between the other stuff. And that's another sense. Okay, here we go. The, the newspaper headline today. I don't know, chowed down that, but it was important. Newspaper headline. Yeah. Of, of utmost significance. Uh, the newspaper headline today. GOP still in denial. Walk like an Egyptian. <laughs> Yep. I mean, the Democratic Party didn't go out there, we won, we won, except the people on the streets. They did that. But, uh, talking about the release, the, they talked to the people, and GOP, man, they didn't say nothing. They were like, nothing, nothing, nothing. Some GOP people said, oh, congratulations, yeah, yes, we must work together, kind of stuff. But then most of the GOP, like the core, core ones are just like, Don't say anything. The trial is still pending. We will have to go to court to... Was there voter information? Ready for action. Orders received. Oh. Oh. I need a weapon. Mission is a go. Let's move. Oh. Oh. I need a weapon. <laughs> I'll bet you do. <laughs> That's oh my god. I didn't know this was this little recording to surprise me. You bump the thing and it's like it wants to freaking kill you. Oh my god, there was a there was a murder in Hawaii. I saw this, I didn't I didn't read it yet, but uh there's a murder in Hawaii. Oh my gosh. Keep moving, trooper. A ride already. Mommy, he's scaring me. There was a murder in Hawaii. Well it's an investigation for a murder. Apparently, I guess, I don't know, earlier in the morning or that, you know, it's the two, you know, friggin' late night stuff and all that crap. Well, these two guys in Kalihi got into a fight, right? Outside this apartment buildings, you know, little, little sidewalk, you know, parking lot. The guys got into a fight, right? No weapons, just fight. So fight, 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 fight. Then... Trooper standing by. <sighs> mm, okay, proud boy. So... They get into a fight and then they're done, right? So the guy, he's like 58 years old. He's at, after the fight, he walks back to his place and never gets there. He falls down, collapses. <gasps> so they went and got an ambulance to brought him to the hospital and he died. Kind of like he stroked out or heart attacked out because too old to fight, right? So pride before the fall. And this is the fall. I don't know. It's GOP still in denial. Look like an Egyptian. <laughs> the river in, you know, Egypt. As Biden plans to the transition, Republicans decline to recognize his election. Yeah, they're not going to recognize it because they still think they got a chance. Um, these court things are, pff, man, they're a pipe dream. They're so dumb. I mean, they're not even going to make it. I mean... I don't understand. The guy doesn't have the clue on government working, you know? I mean, the mechanics. Like, that doesn't work that way. Because the Supreme Court, you don't walk up to the Supreme Court and go, It's not fair. It's not fair. It's not fair. Yeah, make it better for me. Uh, the Supreme Court don't work that way. He, he got like three people on the Supreme Court. I guess he was figuring he's gonna call it in some favors, huh? Uh, one of these days, it's like the Godfather. I do a favor for you, and then sometime in the future, uh, uh, I might call upon a favor for me. You know, that that you know, quid pro quo. Not the governor. That's Cuomo. <laughs> Did you see that thing? His brother, Chris Cuomo, the guy with the show. Man, they look like, are they twins? I don't even know that. I didn't figure that one out yet. Uh, back in the day, 63, George Nakamura, manager of the appliance store in Hollywood, gives his... Uh, washer and dryer in the front. Oh my god. The, the, the washing machine looks like a weird bucket. You're churning butter in the 1960 modern style. 
terrifying virus surge awaits Biden. That's right, man. The I don't know all this crap going on and all that blast push elections. I mean, this virus is spiking all over the mainland. So if you value your own skin, okay, this is like an actual virus. It doesn't give a rat's patoozy who you are. If you catch it, you get it. It's like gravity. If you walk off the cliff, it doesn't matter what political party you are. The gravity will take over. <clears throat> terrifying virus surge. Yes, it is terrifying. Minor quake. New England. Astronauts arrive. Ho, ho, ho. Here we go. Back into space. Back into space. Where we got space. What do you think? about Space Force. Cooper reporting for duty. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna say, you know, like a little monkey. But here, astronauts arrive at site for next SpaceX. <laughs> Elon, man. Got any of that, Ken? Got any? Where are you shmuggy, huh? Four astronauts arrived at Kennedy Space Station on Sunday for SpaceX. Maybe my is broken. Yeah, I'll break it again. Tom Link broke. And for NASA's, it marks the long-awaited start of a regular crew rotation at the International Space Station. Also, they're going to go with up to the ISS. I think it goes by. It looks like a, oh, look, a shooting star. <sighs> Don't tell little Johnny. He doesn't know. That's another piece of, there's people in there, though. <laughs> and there's President Trump waving to supporters in his motorcade. He's going off to play golf. Oh, uh, Mr. President, did you lose your ball? Did you lose a ball or something? <laughs> I'm sorry about your feelings. Actually, I'm kind of not, because he's been kind of a dick to so many people. No matter what side of the donkey elephant fence you sit, I don't understand, like, so more of these people that don't, you just don't get it, I guess. Why don't so many Latinos and <laughs> vote for Trump? I don't even want to know anymore. <laughs> 70 million people are going, it's a movement. All right, where are we? Public schools shift distance learning years. All right. Again, protecting the irreplaceable. Okay. I missed something. Where's the big Q? Oh, there it is. It's hiding. It's Biden, like Biden is not hiding. Biden ain't hiding. There you go, a little song. Biden ain't hiding. Oh God, it just, it just doesn't work. Just, doesn't, just shut up and read the big Q. Big Q says, overall, what do you think about how America was allowed to vote via mail as walk, well as walk-in? 64%, 8%, 28 28%, not good, too unwielding, chaotic, 8%, mixed, somewhat confusing, but okay, 64%, over two-thirds, good, state's processes held up well, well, not so much for that, all right. Like the mail-in ballot? I like it. You just <laughs> you can sit down here, pick your nose in your underwear. And you're, <laughs> I can look every. I can. I got the Google, Google and lit or whatever. Don't Google it. Do duck, 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 go or something. What the heck is that? Um. Okay. Whatever that is. Okay. Now we must look at the letters to the editor. Okay, whipping through that stuff, We're trying to get to the opinions of the people. Finger on the pulse of opinions. Everybody has a letter to the editor. These aren't really edit. Well, they're called editorials, but they're letters to the editor. This is actually the editorial, but I don't really shave that final point on that stuff and the editorials and the letters to the editor winning who bus stop 
who's winning? Trump, Biden, COVID. Yeah, well, that's not so funny. I don't even know if I'll just <laughs> can show it to you. Yeah, 50 million people worldwide. A hundred, one hundred thousand in one day. <laughs> I think Fauci said some type of um, encouraging thing, <laughs> like, but yeah, but the death rate is coming down. <laughs> Thank you for your encouraging note. <laughs> it's like waking up in the morning and your face is in a bowl of maggots. Of course, I do that every day. You know, the witch. God, get the paper. It's like walking by the the valley of the shadow of death. It's like I walk upstairs or outside to get the paper and you hear tubes or bells. Down in the darkened hall, the shadows move. I swear, she's, she's she uses demon because it's a different space. But that's for another video. Check out <laughs> something talk story or spook 101. Man, I I, I, was, uh, I look into that stuff and oh my god! All right, don't chew up your time. Letters to the editor: Support one another in these difficult times. Racism is out uh, is out in the open this election season. Invest your future. By the look at visitors fail to wear masks. Earth will keep warming up without your help. CMC president. Except it's been hot today. Except for scratches. That's our face. Just acting like I would take. Why don't we all just get along? Or what about this one? How about this one? <clears throat> Invest in our future by tackling climate change. Mm hmm. The time has come to invest in America's future together. Most Americans are ready to tackle climate change. We didn't know fossil fuels that powered our industrial revolution had a big downside. The byproducts linger in our atmosphere and prevent some of the sun's heat from escaping back into space and heat our land and water instead. Now we are spending billions each year to recover from an increasing natural disasters. <clears throat> and we are still subsidizing the fossil fuel industry with 20 billion dollars a year. Hmm. It's time to clean and cool our planet by refocusing our national investments on clean energy Cool our planet by carbon sequestration, carbon sequestration, sequestration, I don't know, that's a scary word, because if you take the C and push it over, it's like castration, carbon sequestration, <clears throat> energy efficient and technological jobs. I think carbon sequestration is, I think, you know, carbon emissions and you tax the hell out of them. I think that's what I don't know. I could be wrong. Energy efficient and technological jobs. We are successful investing in fossil fuels. Now let's do the same for our future. Part of that investment must go to help fossil fuel workers transition. Time for Democrats, Republicans, and all parties to unite in this common, for this common cause. Virginia Tincher of Langheina, you win the award. You get nothing. <laughs> Just like carbon emissions in the air. There's nothing there. Uh, no, that's a good one. Racism out in the open this election season. Well, 2020 has been an eye opener. The one thing that the Trump administration has done is bring racism out in the open. The racism that many people have said was happening has come to the forefront and finally put in the spotlight. The administration has brought out true feelings of these of these United States by his words, actions, and the people who support it. Everyone who has been shown the reaction racism is out there. We as a people can do better. He is hoping that we enter the new year with our eyes wide open and not let our hands covering them. 
let us, the people of Hawaii, show the mainland how a connected community can control this pandemic. Let's all at least try. Greg Kutsinai Kemiki. Yeah, let's not be racist and all of a sudden you switch to pandemic. No, good points there, uh, Craig. You, you're the guy. <laughs> TM. Uh, projectors. Oh, whatever. Oh, goodness. Okay, well, we're just going to do this. Uh, let's do a little shorty, okay? You found a shorty. Holly lookout visitors fail to wear masks. I have taken the welcome opportunity to stop off at the Polly lookout. Wait, I'm sorry. Start again. I have taken the welcome. Oh. <laughs> I have taken the welcome opportunity to stop off at the Polly lookout on the two days since it reopened. On both days, apart from myself, absolutely no one was wearing a mask. If we are to control the virus and protect Hawaii's tourism industry, we're going to have to do a lot better. Joe Mercer, Pacific Heights. Well, I don't know. My job is not to protect the tourist industry, for one. <laughs> I'm not benefiting anything from the tourist industry. So, there you go. The state and its economy has placed all its eggs in one basket, basket the tourist industry. Hmm. So, yeah, it does affect people, but... But... I don't have a business that takes in money for tourism, so a lot of these are written by people who have businesses that are raking in profits because of business tourists. But I want to point out this as I'm going over time. Sorry, sorry. The poly reopened, and I want to see something. They found eight skulls and a couple others too from another museum. See, these museums are giving back artifacts because they don't want to look like colonialists. But some of these things are actual human remains. And there was a big battle when King Kamehameha united the islands. Yeah, if you didn't join, you got killed. Brought in warriors and killed you. So that's what they did at Oahu. Oahu King's like, and hey, no way, comes over. <laughs> Long story, but... And then one of the big battles is Nu'uanu. So they got all the way up to the edge of the edge of the freaking new the poly poly means cliff. Got all the way up to the edge of the cliff, and it was like pushing them over, battled them off the side of the cliff. Eight hundred over the cliff died at the base. There was hundreds and hundreds of dead skulls, and yeah, not like Bucky who's a living skull. No football for you. No, but hundred hundreds of human skulls. That's a replica. So. Some of them were taken, and some of them were returned. Eight of them were like female warriors. Now, isn't that interesting? Fe eight female Hawaiian warriors. Now, they were returned, and a couple others were thrown into boot from another collection. Guess where they are? They're going to be reinterred near where they died. At the top of the poly lookout, not the bottom, by the poly lookout. There's gonna be like this kind of like stone thing, a little kind of rocks together, okay, cemented in, right, and all that. Inside, skulls, human freaking warrior, Hawaiian Hawaiian warrior skulls inside. <sighs> the mana, the ghost story. Now go up there and do whatever you want. Ancient Hawaiian, eh? Come get you, eh? Kahuna! <laughs> anyway, that's it. Take it easy. Have a nice day. But definitely take it easy. Aloha!